They're both tracking showers across parts of the valley again today, but this is another one of those days where either you got a nice rain shower or you're looking off at the distance and go, how come them and not me? Right now it's up in western Williston County, northern Hidalgo County, still pushing northward. We're still seeing stuff form right on this line right here, so you might pick up yet another brief shower right here in the middle part of the valley. Let's go take a closer look at this, and you can see that right at San Manuel, right at 281 and 186, raining pretty good right now, and you can pick up a quick quarter to maybe as much as a half an inch of rain as this moves by especially if you're in this training area out here where it just keeps going by in the same spot there. They might get an inch or more, but rest of the valley, everything moves pretty quickly and is gone. Now let's watch future track. It says that tonight there still could be a splotch of green or two show up, so an isolated shower still possible overnight. And then during the daytime tomorrow, another day like today, scattered showers may be an embedded thunderstorm, but for the most part, it's like today. It's just uh, kind of hit and miss kind of stuff. You notice a lot of rain off to the west tomorrow night. I think there will be a lot of rain west and northwest of us. More about that a little later. In the meantime, for Thursday, same kind of thing. Scattered showers and an embedded thunderstorm. Our best chance looks to be Thursday at about 50%. And then we drop it back to 30% on Friday. But a pretty good shot each of the next three days. So hopefully you'll get some at your place if you need it. At least one of those days. These are the currents. 84 in Edinburgh. The rain's not too far from there. 89 in McAllen. 85 in Westlaco. Raymondville checks in at 89 tonight. The next three days are going to be above average unless you're in a rain area like 90 is the average for this time of year. We should be above that, but if rain falls, you'll fall down into the low to mid 80s, at least for a time. You can tell there's a front in Texas. Look at this 89 in Dallas, but 67 in Abilene, 58 right now in Dalhart, even Oklahoma City, 63. Right there's your line right through there. It's cooler down in here because it's raining down in there, all because the front making its way southward. This front is going to have a hard time making it all the way to the valley. It's going to get close, and even if it does push through, which it could, it may make a two degree difference in temperature. It's not going to be a big deal by the time it gets down into our part of the state. The only issue with it is it'll probably trigger some rain again. Lots of rain to our west and a few showers here as it kind of sneaks into the area and then fades away by Friday. By Saturday, the front's probably a non-entity again, but there's still enough moisture around for a few showers Saturday as well. Let's take a quick look at the Atlantic. We still have Maria off the east coast of the U.S., now down to a tropical storm, moving to the north at about 7. Forecast path keeps it a tropical storm and turns it out to sea, and look at it go way out in the North Atlantic by the time you get to the end of the weekend. So that is just about history. So tonight, 78, evening showers in a few spots, east southeasterly winds, and tomorrow back up to 94. Your chance of rain tomorrow Say it's 40%, and if you pick up half an inch, you'll be one of the lucky ones. Some places could get a little more than that. 94, 93, 92 over the weekend. We hold it in the low 90s. With the front stalling, we should see lows staying in the 70s. If the front pushes a little farther south, we might take two or three off of those numbers. That is your updated first one by forecast. We'll be back right after this.